Hello everyone, welcome. In this video, we are going to see how to use our C program in order to calculate the mode. In the previous video, the previous video showed us how to write this code. And in order to easily know how to write this code, it is best to go on Science Video Makers. Best to go on Science Video Makers. Don't forget an S at the end. If you like it, and subscribe. When you do that, you are going to be notified on the new videos that are going to come. Now, again, in this Science Video Makers, there were initial videos on C programming which will help you to understand what is written here. We have int n equals to 0, in n equals i equals to 0, in j equals to 0, and all that. We have the printf, the scanf, we have the variable n declared as an array, we have loops, and we have if statements. All these are explained in the channel Sounds Video Maker, which you are looking now. So, subscribe and like the videos for you to have more videos again. So, let's go and see how to calculate the mode, the, the mode with this our program. So, this our program to calculate the mode is consisting of 60 lines because of much spaces. So, if I remove all the spaces, you can calculate the mode with while using a C code of less than 30 lines. So, we come, we compile, and we run our program. So, this is the starting point of our program. Enter the total number of variables. Let's say I want to enter 10 variables. I want to find the mode of uh, enter 10 variables. So now enter the different variables. I'll enter, let's say that um, I want to know the length. There are lengths. Um, I, will, I want to calculate the mode of a particular length. So let's say one length is 3 meters. I enter another is 4, another is 7, another is 3, another is 3, another is 4, another is 5, another is 5. So we have to make sure that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we are on eight terms. So another is three, another is three. So we have this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These are all our values. Now when we enter, we have the value of the mode is three and the frequency is five. So this our program try to calculate the mode and it gives us the frequency. We have one, two, three, four, and five. So we have the frequency there. Now let's see how to change because the frequency was not very well approached. So we have to change a small thing on the code such that it should be centered. In order to do this, you have to learn sans um, code blocks and sans geometers. And when learning it, you know why we are playing this backslash t and backslash t is in order to centralize our code. So we compare and run. We then start back with another one. Let's say we have um, this time around seven numbers. The first number is two, the second number is three, the third number is four, the fourth number is five next number is three next number is five so this is already one two three four five six and the next number is five so when we do this you have this so this is my backslash here i use you've seen that it has placed this frequency now on a straight line when you place this tab the tab is like a tab bar on your screen so i've placed it on a straight line so you have this so the total number of variable is seven enter the different variable i've entered now you see that the value of the mode now here is five because occurring three times here and the frequency you see is three so from here you've seen that this simple program is calculating the mode and 
in order for you to learn how to calculate the mode, you need to go to channel, sound to make a like it, subscribe it in order for you to see the uh, new videos and learn C programming in this channel. So from here, say thanks for your good attention.